Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to maximize privacy and security here in macOS. We will just be focusing on built-in settings and features and we will not be focusing on third-party solutions or services. We also will not be diving into individual applications. I have other videos that focus on that stuff. I'll link those down below in the notes down in the video description. For today's video what you'll want to do is come up to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon and go to system settings and then starting from from the top we're going to go to Wi-Fi and the first thing here is if you're not using Wi-Fi you need to make sure that this is turned off if you are using it make sure you are connected to a secure network and then additional options you can click on details or for other networks you can just click on the three dots to open up a menu and go to network settings make sure you are only automatically joining networks that you know and trust like your home network I would never turn this on for a public network and probably not even an employer or school and then also make sure that you have limit IP address tracking turned on as well. If this is a network you never use anymore, I would also suggest forget this network to remove it from the list. Next, underneath Bluetooth, same thing when Bluetooth is not being used, make sure this is toggled off. And if you're on the go, on the move, I would get into the habit of not using it because it is a security risk. And then same thing, just review the devices that you are connecting to. If there's one here that you don't recognize, make sure that you click on the I disconnect and forget the device and basically just make sure that you're connecting to devices that you know and own yourself and keep in mind that turning this off is still important even when you live at home especially if you live in a high density location such as an apartment complex or whatnot just to make sure that people are not getting access to things they should not next go to network and from here just make sure that your firewall is active you can click on it for additional options again we can see that it is enabled and then we can click on options now, generally speaking, for most people, I would just leave these settings at default, but if you absolutely want to increase security and privacy, you can toggle this on to block all incoming connections. You can also block individual connections. Additionally, you could turn both of these options off and turn the stealth mode on. But again, generally speaking, I would just leave these set to default because if you do set these to the max, some services or applications may not work properly. Next, go to general and then click on software update periodically come in here and just double check to make sure that you are up to date because updates not only include additional features but they include security updates that are a must have additionally if you click the back button and go to login items here you can get a list of all the items that are set to run in the background you can select them and hit the minus sign to remove them to increase privacy as well as you can toggle items off down here on the list below next go to privacy and security and starting from the top there is a privacy section in short Short, you will want to go through every single individual category on this list and turn off and remove as many items as possible. The more you turn off and remove, the greater your privacy will be. If you scroll down, there will be a sensitive content warning which is used to flag adult content. You can turn this on, but just be aware that there might be some potential privacy concerns with this one. But if you do have kids or just want to flag this type of content, you do have that option. Analytics and improvements, turn all of these off to increase privacy. And then advertising, turn off again to increase privacy. Going down to the security section, this indicates where you can download and install applications from. Now for maximum security, set it to just the App Store, though keep in mind some things have gotten into the App Store that should not have, so it's not bulletproof. Or you can go with the App Store and identify developers, meaning that Apple has identified them as legitimate and safe. Again, either option is not bulletproof, so you do have to use some common sense and education regardless of which setting you go with. Next one down, File Vault. This is disk encryption. Make sure it's turned on to encrypt the content on your Mac. And then Lockdown Mode. As it says right here, this is an extreme option. If you are a celebrity, an executive, a journalist, politician, someone who's going to be targeted, this may be something that you want to turn on in those type of scenarios. Again, this is an extreme option, so the general user probably doesn't have to worry about this but it is an option you should be aware of and know that you do have going back down here underneath others extensions if you click on this at the top there's added extensions keep an eye on this list especially as you install applications and services you just want to review this to make sure nothing's getting access to things it should not and then back to others profiles if your Mac is owned by an employer or school it's very common to have a profile set up here but if this is your own personal Mac 
and you do not remember setting something up here and you see a profile, there's a good chance that it could be malware related and you should remove it. If you've had any problems, this is one of the first things I would check for. So just keep an eye on it. Again, if it's third party owned, it's common to have a profile here. If it's personally owned, generally speaking, unless you remember setting something up here, this should be blank. And then the last option, advanced. If you click on this, you do have the option to toggle these both on to increase security. If your computer is in a location where other people have access to it, I would recommend turning both of these on. And then next go to lock screen. And the main thing you want to focus on here is when the password is going to be required to log in. If you are the only one who has access to your Mac, say you live alone or whatnot, you know, setting this to a higher time limit is probably okay for most people. But if your Mac is in a location where there's lots of traffic, you have roommates, you live with other people, you may want to consider changing this to immediate. Next, users and groups. Just make sure that if there is a user on here, A, it's someone that should have access. Otherwise, you can come here to remove users. Also, make sure that only users you have specified have admin access. If someone else uses your Mac, you may want to consider changing them to just a standard user. And then the last thing down here, passwords. This is the built-in password manager that Apple provides, though I would recommend there are some third-party solutions that are better. Regardless, if you use this, make sure you come in here periodically. And underneath password options, I would consider turning autofill off, but that's a personal preference you're gonna have to decide because as security increase, convenience goes down, you just wanna make sure that someone isn't easily logging in to something that they should not have access to. Also, I would recommend that you open up the Finder and go to your applications and go down your list of applications and remove all the garbage, the junk, anything you don't use. Clean this out, scrub this list. It will increase privacy and security and even help your Mac run more efficiently. When you find something that you need to remove, just click on it, drag it to the trash, and that will uninstall it off of your Mac. So that basically covers all the major built-in settings that you wanna check to increase privacy and security on your Mac, but there's so much more that can be done and so much more that you can do I will post some links down in the video description, down in the notes, to a few different playlists one being how to do a full deep clean on your Mac computer just to make sure there's no malware or viruses on your Mac and just really scrub it to make sure it's secure and also working at its peak efficiency. I will also link to this playlist which focuses on things you can do for your web browsers to increase privacy and security which is very important because these are common weak points and a common way for malware to get onto the computer. And then last I'll link to this playlist which has a list of tips to increase privacy and security in general and also talks about third-party services and options that you can use. But that's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.